I'm just going to go through the, the wiki caps um, set up for the dish on Barb's phone. So we've already calibrated the, um, ca the com uh, compass. So that's given us a direction straight to the satellite on the compass, uh, which is pretty much where we've got the dish actually pointed up in the sky now. Uh, down the bottom you'll see that the azimuth, which is just the compass direction, is 20 degrees. The LMB um, skew is 28 and the elevation uh, which is pointing up in the sky is 46. Um, this is an offset dish too, uh, which is pretty important because the sweet spot is down the bottom. The sweet spot's actually in the middle of those four bolts. Uh, so it's not, the dish itself is not actually pointing in, in that direction. It's more pointing in that direction because of the it's coming off the bottom of the deal or the bottom part of the dish rather than in the middle because it's offset so then uh, what we'll do is we'll go to the the camera part of the where we can view it and that's what we see so it's just a live camera view and it's got a little arrow and when you lift it up to the sky hopefully we'll be able to pick that up and there's the satellite. As we move around, the satellite stays in the one spot and the camera moves past it and it goes off the screen. Uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So it's telling us that that's roughly where the satellite is. Now it is rough. It's not 100% it's not accurate, but it gives you a fair idea. And what it's good for is um, if you've got uh, obstacles in the way, for example, this tree, if we were going to set our dish up right here, you'll see uh, that the satellite is on the other side of that tree. So this particular spot would be no good. Uh, so it gives you a bit of an idea on what you can get past and what you can't. Uh, so it's a good starting point. And then of course you need to have the, um, you need to have that signal strength meter uh, to fine tune it. And once you get into, uh, once you get to that point, it's just a matter of moving the dish a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, up, down, until you find it. A very, very important part of this process are these things. So they're, hang on, we'll get around here. They're filthy and they're corroded because this thing spends all, most of its time outside. And uh, have a look at that, that's a cracker, that one. So that's on the way out. So if you can't get a signal and you're jerking around with it for 10 minutes, chances are one of your connectors is cactus. And uh, so all you do is you can, this thing's crimped on. This particular one here is crimped on. This one here is screwed on. So what we can do with that one is we just unscrew it, cut it back here, fold the, uh, the, the wires back inside and screw it back on and off we go again. Uh, this one here we'd have to get another fitting like that one which we carry with us anyway and uh, cut that cable off down here somewhere, throw this bit to the end of the rubbish bin and uh, put a screw on one on there. And um, it's the same with the uh, with where it goes into the caravan. Um, corrosion is a is a f fairly significant problem with these things. It'll work for years without any problem, and then all of a sudden you just cannot get a signal for love nor money, and it starts to get very frustrating. You're checking the compass, you're checking the apps, you're checking the list of where you are, and uh, you still can't get a signal. And uh, it will be 99% of the time. These stinking things here. <laughs> they live outside all the time there's nothing much you can do about that this this one here doesn't seem to have any issues but it always seems to be the cables and the, well, the joins more than the cables but every now and again uh, on the odd occasion we've had a broken cable uh, we've we carry uh, we've got other cables anyway so we can put this dish a long way away and um, of course if, if it gets really bad checked all the ends and they don't still don't work We'll get one of the other cables out and uh, and then if it works then that cable that we've been using is obviously broken at some point and it's too difficult to find it's not it's about a dollar a meter for the cable throw it out and buy a new one that's it and we're up and running and we'll get a satellite signal we're pretty much anywhere we are in australia we obviously use it for our um, stickers we don't particularly like sticking them on the van but who cares about the dish good eh